Katie asks, a question for Microsoft Education. Is there any way to lock down computers during a test? There used to be a link that one could add to a form so that students could only access the form on the computer, but I can't find it. Please help. Look, there are different, different applications that are around to be able to support that. Uh, but they're usually something you'd have to buy. It's not there as standard as part of the suite. Uh, if you have a look on the roadmap, there are certainly some asks around it. You could do the, and it's, you know, it's kind of recommended that potentially something like, like a take a test app, for example, there are different third party products. So it could be that if you had something previously, it would either be uh, something that was provided internally and is then no longer there. So there's something that was line of business for, for your particular um, university or school, for example. So it would be a discussion with the IT team around what they have provided as a solution for it. That's interesting. Did did Teams for EDU, did it used to have a locking feature? Was that something? Not that I'm aware of. Hmm. But then that's not so. I mean, I'm not a massive deep dive on the education. I mean, I have been supporting the um, Microsoft for Education and forum on Facebook and sort of on there. I can't say I've seen anything there. Um, and look, you know, if if you're if you really want to ask somewhere, Katie, go in. Microsoft have actually got on Facebook. There's there's two di different there's two different um, groups on Facebook that is actually yep. Microsoft Teams for communities for Microsoft Teams for Education. Um, you can always ask there. But because they might say, well, this is the really great app, or this is what we've used, or this is how we've got around it, or what we've done. Um, that'll probably be the best place to even ask those sorts of questions too. All I know at the moment of is a third party. App. You know, I'd love, I'd love to be able to point people to, uh, to LinkedIn communities, uh, or even over to uh, the Microsoft community, the, uh, the you know, tech community sites. Yeah, yeah. But I'll tell you, the most active and the most frequently asked questions, where you want to get quick answers from a large group of people are these Facebook communities around Microsoft they're Teams for EDU. Amazing. They're yeah. they're huge. Yeah, yeah. I think one of them is like 45,000 yeah. uh, or more, right. more members. So yeah. um, you should get I responses. I you into it, didn't I, Christy? I dragged you into, into one of them. <laughs> no, no, I've, I've, I've been in those for a long time, for years. Long time, yeah. 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 I know there's... Um, uh, now, I was in there, especially when the pandemic hit, and there was a lot of teachers asking, you know, have never dealt with Teams before. For, and it's very difficult to learn when you're under that kind of pressure. So yeah. that's where I spent a lot of my time. I've just yeah. seen that yeah. it's from all the other community sites that are out there, it's the most active and uh, it's a great place to go for for teachers. So yeah, yeah, absolutely. I would I would go I would go in there because there's I mean, you've got a globe literally help helping out on that one.